my approach still is that small multifamily is still vastly undervalued. Based on rents, it's still vastly undervalued. On my single family home versus my duplexes, I don't get a 30% reduction in rents. I get a 10% reduction in rents, but I'm not paying twice the price for the duplex over the house. Yeah. I think people need to be strongly considering strategies that get them on the ladder, i.e. good or great deals, but house hacking still. Yeah. House hacking still. I've talked to a number of people that are actually selling their houses and they said, we will rent because we want to buy small multifamily because the numbers are just that ridiculous. We're starting to finally see some really heavy movements. And it's crazy because not a lot of small, like small multifamily is like a redheaded stepchild. It's just like left alone. There's no real metrics that follows it. Like it's either large multifamily, commercial or residential. And they talk about, you know, single family homes mostly, but yeah. the amount of the amount of uh, income off of small multifamily, two, three, and four, especially when you're house hacking, in almost every scenario that I've seen, you're living for free or for maybe half of what the market rent would be on that type of a, of a property. Yeah, I don't understand why people aren't leveraging that, especially now that the giveaway administration is now giving away credit. Yeah. They're giving away credit. You don't know how to save. You don't have good credit. That's okay. We'll just penalize the people that know how to do that stuff. Yeah. And so your it, your your monthly payment's going to be lower. How people are not leveraging that is beyond me. Yeah, it's 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 funny. I actually interviewed a, a somebody who's house hacked in Texas on the VA loan. Right. Perfect. I think he told me in the interview. I think he brought like three thousand dollars or something for closing costs. Just closing. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, his his expenses went down like sixty percent. Yep. I'm like, you know, by the way, housing is paid for by the military, right? They have a housing stipend or something like that. So they do. Pretty, pretty wild. 